Hello, my name is Marcus, and today we're going to be creating this. So now we're back here in After Effects. So let's start by selecting this layer and pre-composing. Control Shift C. Let's just call it text. Let's not be fancy here. Now in here, I'm actually going to make this text completely black by clicking on this little box here because we're going to be applying some fractal noises and stuff to it anyway, so it might as well be black from the beginning. Back here in our main comp here, let's start applying some very sexy effects. So first of all, let's apply a fractal noise. Double click on that bad boy. And let's play around with this a smidge to increase the contrast, something ridiculous. Maybe we can set the fractal type to small bumps and then just increase the brightness until they start appearing. And let's play around with the scale as well because we want these to be quite small uh, little things that are almost like small stars, something like this. Now we want to be able to animate this offset turbulence so that it uh, starts at slower speeds and increases speed over time. So let's now apply a slider control. Let's rename this bad boy speed. There we go. And now we can out click on offset turbulence in our fractal noise. Let's write A equals, and then just pick whip up to the speed variable here. So now that's connected. And now let's start with making square brackets because this parameter has X and Y, which means it's an array. So we need to put it in square brackets. So it will be A times time and A times time. Whoops. A times time, which means that for every single frame, it's going to multiply the, this value that we give it from the slider with the current time. There we go. So let's start. We can start up by, let's say, like 500 or something, and then uh, click on the little stopwatch. Let's apply a keyframe, and all the way over to seven, we can increase it to maybe a thousand, something like this. Why am I limiting now? And now let's start applying a tint. There we go because we want to be able to colorize these individual thingamabobs here. And let's say something quite orange, red, but still quite orange, something like this. And now let's apply an echo effect because we're going to make like these nice streaks over time. And let's start by making this uh, 0, 0,01. So there's a very low delay between each of them. And we can start up by making maybe 80 copies and setting the decay down to 96, something like this. And let's set it to maybe screen. See, now we start to see some really cool streak things going on here, right? You can really start to see it glow up and uh, almost look like meteors falling. So over time, we want there to be more meteors falling. So let's go into second seven here. Let's just increase the brightness, something a little bit quite dramatic, something like this, so we can see the streaks happening all the time. Let's just keyframe that brightness. Go back to the beginning and just decrease the brightness until they're not visible at all, something like this. So now we have some nice, small, juicy meteors falling. And we can call this text uh, meteors. There we go. And since we want this layer to blend with layers below it, we're actually going to duplicate this bad boy. And I'm just going to call this one text base and put it at the bottom and just delete basically everything. So it's just completely black. There we go. And let's set this top boy here to screen. Now let's duplicate this bad boy here. And now let's call it meteors light something like this and put it below the meteors. Now we're going to change some uh, colors here. So set this to a very dark red, something like this. And let's start applying a fast blur here. Double click, just give it a bit of smidge here. So we want this boost light to be transparent or have alpha. So let's just apply a unmold effect. I'll link to that in the description. And let's put it right after the tint effect. There we go. And now let's apply a curves because we want to boost the alpha of this bad boy. So set it to alpha and just crank it up. There we go. Now we got some sexiness going on here. We can just increase the blur, something like this. So see right now it's going outside of the text. We don't, we don't want that. So let's duplicate the base text and alpha mat it with that meter light. There we go. You can boost this as much as you want to really get that nice red uh, color across the entire text. 
you can even duplicate it again go over to second seven here reset it so it's alpha and then maybe find what you like best so maybe just a smidge of a boost just a boost to the smidge here and then at the beginning of the animation you can take it all the way down to the middle again so it boosts the color over time and you start to see this nice glowing redness uh, the more meteors there are on the screen at a time so now let's apply some delicious glows because we want these glows to like spill out from the text so up into layer new adjustment layer and just call this bad boy glow and of course apply a glow there we go double click and let's just take the threshold and just play around with this. So we want it primarily to just highlight the, the brightest points of this text. So something along these lines. Let's set it to A and B colors. And let's set it to screen. There we go. Maybe, and let's start applying some custom colors. So quite bright here at the beginning, some very bright orange, maybe a little bit more saturated, yellow, something like this. Uh, maybe set to 180 so it picks the brightest spots so we can just play around until it picks the brightest spot something like this and then you just duplicate the glow here and uh, color pick the original orange make it even more orange something like this you can play around with this to your content to your personal satisfaction maybe even duplicate it a third time and take the orange and make it even more red orange something like this really give it some some hefty orangeness something like yes we can even make the glow even more yellow here in the beginning something like this just really give it that oomph and play around with the intensity of the different glows so now we want to pre-compose this entire thing so we can control it even more so just select all these layers here and i'm just going to control shift c and call it main there we go so now we start want to start adding some more deliciousness so first of all i'm going to duplicate this main here i'm going to call this a desat because i'm going to desaturate the highlights of this text if we go over here to second seven i want to desaturate the highlights so that it becomes a more realistic glow so let's start by making a tint effect applying a tint and let's apply an image wipe then we just decrease the image wipe until we reach sort of the highlights maybe make it very soft like 30 percent softness something like this so it just hits the highlights i'm going to set it to screen so that it only uh, so that we get these nice white highlights here you can even decrease or increase until you're until it uh, reaches what you like here we can even apply a, another glow in here new adjustment layer glow now let's just uh, let's set it to screen so it doesn't burn out as much and make the radius very very large something like this and we can even add some flicker to it so i'll click and glow intensity and apply a wiggle 10 and then comma and 0 0.1 so it's very little so just flickers a bit with the with the text as it glows on which is quite nice now we can create some stars to have uh, flickering in the background over time so let's start by creating new layer oops so let's start by go up to layer new solid let's call it stars set it to completely black there we go so first of all let's start applying a grain noise there we go add grain and set the preview to final output so right now it's basically impossible to see anything so let's start playing around with this bad boy let's increase the intensity until you start to see a bunch of colors here we can even increase the size a bit we can play around with this in a second so color wise we're actually going to desaturate it quite a bit so we only have a smidge of color seeping through so of course right now there's just a bunch of grain on the screen we really don't want that so let's go over here and apply a curves effect bam -a -lama ding dong and just take it all the way down until they're just like small specks of stars something like this 
So you see, now it actually looks a little bit like a starry sky. Now the downside is it's gonna flicker a lot. It's gonna change every single frame, as you can see here. It's so we're gonna go into animation here and set it all the way down, 0, 0, 1, and animate smoothly, which means it's gonna blend between each frame much smoother. So now it's gonna have like these very soft, nice uh, stars just moving or just animating slowly, you know? We can even also apply a background. So let's go into layer, new, solid, a nice uh, background color. There we go, some very nice dark blue, something like Diaz. And I'm just gonna zoom out here a smidge. I just press C to choose the zoom tool. I'm gonna choose the sphere here, the sphere mask, and just make a huge sphere with Control Alt Shift to make it uh, come from the center. And I'm just gonna feather it out something dramatic, something like this. I'm gonna click on the mask and duplicate it, Control D, take it up into the left side, go into second seven, and press T for opacity, maybe take it down to 60, something, yeah. Then just a keyframe opacity and all the way to the beginning and set it to zero. So it's slowly over time start appearing. You can do the same thing with the stars actually if you want so that they appear over time. Now we can add some nice like lens uh, particles like we also have in the video. So I made a script for this. So you can just go to the newsletter and in the welcome mail, you get access to the folder of scripts. So go up into scripts, run script file and fake doff particles. And it's gonna ask you, okay, it does your layer have alpha or primarily luminance so that it knows what to track. And we know that this main layer uses alpha mostly. So see now it has generated these uh, depth of field particles here, you know, these nice particles that are hanging in the air and it's based on the colors and the alpha of whatever layer you selected, which is quite nice. And you can even, so it's not always as obvious. I'm gonna choose like the point in time where it's absolute brightest. And you can see these uh, particles start to appear a lot more. You can control this in the fake doff particles control layer. You can also see there's a little uh, marker here that says control me baby. And you can change like the speed of these particles if we isolate this for a second and decrease the alpha. They actually animate over time. They maybe uh, fall down a bit and stuff like that. And you can uh, change these values in uh, the speed here, like how fast they fall, how uh, fast they evolve, you know, how much they shift over time. You can even increase the radius of how far out these particles can be seen from the original footage. Uh, same with the alpha boost, you can actually boost the, these uh, particles here so they become more visible. You can see it's more obvious here, you can just boost them. And let's just decrease the size a bit, something like this, so that it's mostly around these letters. And if you want, you can even actually create more of these uh, particles. So if you just select these two uh, new layers that the script created, you can duplicate it, maybe call this control 2, and go into these um, and go in this, into this control layer here, and maybe set the DOF to only 15, and go into the transform of the fractal noise and turn it down so only get like these small nice particles, maybe decrease it a little bit more. And you can decrease the brightness so that they only appear somewhere, you know, so we get a little bit of a difference in uh, these particles all around the place. That's just quite nice. I mean, come on, let's just face it. That's nice to have some doffy particles here. So there we go. Now we have some meteors falling and you have a, a script to create like some fake doff particles, which is also nice. So really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see what you guys can create with this, uh, these techniques or these ideas. I'm also in the progress of making a tool which has a bunch of these presets that I've shown so far in, in the tutorials. So you'll just have like this little menu of presets which you can click so you can quickly apply a lot of these more advanced presets. If you want to receive a mail whenever there are new templates, advanced templates, tools, presets, courses, etc., then I would recommend joining the newsletter. You can find the link in the description. If you like these type of title reveal tutorials or text reveal tutorials, I can recommend the playlist being shown on the left right here. Have a wonderful day with some cheese.